Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is what are the functions of the AP and E aminoacyl tRNA binding sites on the ribosome, show direction of the ribosome movement and fill in tRNA binding sites. In order to show you how to solve this problem, let me first show you this picture. So this is double-stranded DNA and here we have, what is this? Do we call this replication bubble or transcription bubble? And we call this transcription bubble if we see that messenger RNA would be made here. And in order to solve this problem, all you have to know that a new strand of the messenger RNA always grow from five prime end to three prime end. I'm showing this end being released, so it's been made first, and uh, this is going to be a direction of the growth of new uh, RNA strand. So this is messenger mRNA, and this is DNA, DNA, double-stranded DNA. And by the way, if we know that here we have five prime end and this is going to be a template strand of the DNA, we instantly know that this is going to be three prime end of the double-stranded DNA, this is going to be five prime end of the double-stranded DNA, here we have five prime end and three prime end here. So this is going to be template strand of the DNA and this strand of the DNA we call coding strand of the DNA and you see the directionality is going to be the same as of the messenger RNA and uh, sequence here is going to be the same as sequence of the messenger RNA with one exception that here we would have uh, thymine and instead of thymine in messenger RNA we are going to have uracil. So now when we know this information we can uh, show directionality of the movement of the ribosome. For example uh, this ribosome would move, again, ribosome would attach itself to the 5' prime end and would move in the direction of the 3' prime end. For example, in bacteria, even before this messenger RNA would be released, ribosome would attach and start making a new protein even before messenger RNA synthesis would be finished. And in eukaryotes, messenger RNA have to be finished first, then it have to leave nucleus, and only then on the rough endoplasmic reticulum or in cytoplasm, ribosome would be assembled on the messenger RNA. First, small uh, ribosomal subunit would attach to the messenger RNA, and then large ribosomal subunit would attach to the small subunit. And uh, as you see, uh, it has three sites. We are going to give names to the sites, but let's first show the movement of the ribosome. It's going to move from five prime end to three prime end. So here it's going to move in this direction. And here it's going to move in this direction. And here it's going to move in this direction and here it's going to move in this direction. So we have shown uh, all four directions for all four pictures. Now let's name sites. First of all, uh, we have three such sites, A, P and E. A stands for the aminoacyl tRNA binding site and it's going to be the first site to which tRNA would uh, attach. And P stands for the site in which we can find tRNA with polypeptide chain attached to it. And E stands for the site which is empty or we also can say exit. Let's now put these letters inside uh, these three sites. In this first picture, uh, the movement of the ribosome is going to be in this direction. That means that new tRNA have to enter from this side and exit from this side. Here 
new tRNA have to be charged with uh, amino acid, have to be enter here and exit here. Enter here, exit here. Enter here, exit here. Of course, when it enters, it would be charged with amino acid. When it leaves, when it exits, it's going to be empty. And this side we call empty and we put E here. And the first side would be A side and that which is in the middle would be P side. It's very easy to remember. We can put P right away, even without um, knowledge in which direction ribosome moves because P side is in the middle. So uh, A side, you also can memorize not as amino acyl tRNA. Some people find it hard to memorize, but here is a mnemonic technique for you. A is the first letter of the alphabet. So this is going to be the first site to which amino acyl tRNA would enter. So uh, instead you can just use this mnemonic technique and say that this is going to be A site. And P site for which stand peptidyl tRNA. Uh, it probably would be easier for you to memorize that this is site where protein grow. So this is a site where protein chain or chain of polypeptide would grow. And E, uh, it's up to you whether you can memorize as empty or exit. It is, I think, easier to memorize as exit site. Again, here we have A site and E site here and A site and E site here. One more time, very fast this time. New strand of the messenger RNA grow from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. In bacteria, for example, ribosome would attach right away, even before messenger RNA would be finished and also would move from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. And the first site would be A site, just like first letter of the alphabet. P site would be in the middle would stand for protein synthesis and E site would be where empty tRNA would be discharged and would leave ribosome. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.